Today's video is a review on this X Layout X Turbo wrist rest and it's exceptional because this one comes with integrated fans. Let's have a closer look. If you want to know the benefits and why you should use a wrist rest, then keep watching. If you want to skip ahead to the actual setup and the review of it, then go to this timestamp here. If you're still watching, then I'll tell you why I've been using wrist rest for probably the last 20 years. If you work in an office or if you work from home, but you're on the PC a lot, if you're doing Excel spreadsheets, if you're doing Word documentation, anything like that, your wrists are permanently hovering over the keyboard and you're actually bringing them back like that so that you can type. Or you may just be a gamer and you spend hours on the keyboard doing that. But whatever the reason you spend a lot of time on the keyboard, a wrist rest is invaluable. What it does is it raises your wrist up. So if, if your keyboard's here, you, that's how you are all the time. You're putting a strain down here. By having a wrist rest, you're raising the wrist up. So it's actually, you're dropping onto the keyboard rather than lifting up like that. So if I was a doctor, I'd probably be saying that it helps to avoid carpal tunnel syndrome. But I'm not going to say that because I'm not a doctor. However, when I originally started using a wrist rest, it was because I had tennis elbow and I had pains all along the arm and they were constant. And using the keyboard for, as I say, it was Excel and Word at the time, just lots and lots of documentation. Raising my wrists up just put strain on it all the time. Being able to rest it on something and your fingers just dropping onto the keyboard made a world of difference to me. It's supposed to make the keyboard more ergonomic when you're using it as well. And what that does, it reduces the wrist and arm tension while promoting blood circulation. And ultimately, if you're a QWERTY keyboard typist and you know the sort of speed you can reach doing that, it should enhance the speed and certainly make it a lot more comfortable to type. Right, let's unbox it, see what comes with it and see what it looks like. All right, before we set it up, we need to unbox it. So let's get it open. All right. So what we've got inside here, let's take this off. Okay, so we have got a, an invitation card to probably the X Layout Club. Um, instructions maybe. Nope, that looks like it's about products that X Layout do. And there's the instruction manual for the wrist rest, right. Move those to one side. Let's take this out. And this looks like the USB cord. Okay, here's the USB cable and it is USB, oops, it is, USB A to USB C. So the USB C will be actually for the wrist rest itself. Uh, this will go into anything. So this could go into a power adapter, into the PC, um, into anything really. And the one thing that I like about this is, as you can see, it's not rolled up or wrapped up, so it's not going to just condense um, concertina when you start using it for the first time. So let's put that to one side. And now for the actual wrist rest itself, let's get rid of the box. Open it up. And that is it. So what are my first impressions of this? Right, first impressions. It's a nice material and the padding's nice on it. So it's not leather. I have seen some describe this as leather, but it, it's, it's PU if I'm not mistaken. So it's a plastic. Um, and it's articulated. And the reason it's articulated, I don't know if you've seen the Microsoft keyboards uh, that again, designed for ergonomics, your hands rest on them like that as opposed to a normal keyboard like that. So if you're going to do that, then that's the way that you'll have it set like that. If we flip it over, we've got very soft anti-slip pads on the back there, and these will be the intake fans. Uh, so they're actually raised off the table top to allow her to go in there nice and easily. And that's anti-slip as well. So if we pop it down and I just try pushing it, you'll see that's not going anywhere. So we're going to see this in use on an all-in-one PC keyboard and then also on a, a gaming setup keyboard as well. Before I do that though, I'm just going to power it up 
uh, with a USB-C cord and a power brick just so that we can see it in operation before we see it in operation and the connector just goes into the side like so okay let's turn it on with the button on the side you keep your finger on it right so that's switched on and it's got th uh, three settings on it it's got two fan speeds but three settings you can feel the air coming out of the vents on the back there so the air's coming out of those vents and it's washing over the keyboard let's move that the next setting is so this is the low setting and the lights are on blue light for low press it again and we should get a red light and it'll go to a higher speed right so you've got the two speeds red light press it again and the light goes off the light goes off and it's at high speed low speed high speed high speed without lights now you may be able to pick up some noise on the mic that's not excessive noise if you've got your headphones on if you're gaming or if i'm working on the pc i have headphones on always noise cancelling you will not pick up any of that whatsoever all right let's just turn it off keep your finger on and it switches off all right let's see it with the keyboard right we've got two keyboards to show you how the wrist rest looks alongside this is the first one and it's a dell and this is the workhorse keyboard so this is the one on my all-in-one and i love a numeric keypad um, i think if you're doing any sort of productivity work whatsoever you need a numeric keypad so that you're not messing around with the numbers and everything at the top there so as you can see if i'm typing away on the on the numeric keypad that's fine if i want to come across and use the qwerty keyboard that's perfect as well and the wrists are so supported there they don't sink into it they just rest so now my fingers are dropping onto the keyboard you can just feel the strain as you as you lift your your wrist backwards but that's not the case when you've got this wrist rest they just drop on so yeah excellent right let's have a look at the next keyboard so as i said this is the workhorse one this is my productivity keyboard all right the next keyboard is my gaming keyboard and this is the royal kludge one now as you can see it's smaller than the wrist rest but that's not an issue at all uh, you, you can see how high this is raised up and that's how high you would have to be lifting your wrists up to be able to use the keys um, but now resting onto the wrist rest and perfect so again set it up as qwerty and not a problem at all just reaching all the keys that i need to reach so yeah fantastic right let's see it in situ as well just before we do that however you need to know the length of this cable so it is five feet or 152 centimeters so lovely and long that will easily connect to your tower if it's on the floor a little bit away from where your workstation is without a problem so this is the first setup and as i said this is on the workhorse this is on the all-in-one pc wonderful let's see it on the gaming pc and here we have it on the gaming pc setup and in this instance i've turned it around and i've got the fans blowing towards me which is a nice little touch because it is very very warm in here right so that's it we've seen it in situ on the two pcs i'm going to just quickly run through some of the features and benefits again and then i'll give you an in summary so features and benefits well it's pu leather so it's not leather it's plastic uh, which makes it extremely easy to clean on the bottom you've got some very soft anti-slip pads uh, which means that they're not going to scratch in the surface as well it's cooling primarily it's comfy which makes typing very easy which means you can type for longer and there's no strain on your wrists the cooling bit of it well it's twofold really so when i'm typing i'm getting a cool breeze running over the keyboard which is nice however when i'm gaming if i want to do all i need to do is spin it round and as you know if you've got your tower running the room can get extremely warm and this is giving a breeze towards you which is nice you don't have to use the fan the fan is an extremely nice to have but you don't have to have it switched on depending on what keyboard you've got it does articulate so you can move it to whatever size keyboard or shape of keyboard the cable length you get with it 
ideal, five foot, perfect. It's not too noisy. There's a noise because there's a fan running when you have it switched on, but it's not too noisy. And as I said earlier on, I always wear noise cancelling headphones, so not an issue at all. You've seen how it works with different sizes of keyboards as well. So in summary, I love wrist rest. I do an awful lot of work on the PC. I edit videos, I do Excel sheets, I do Word sheets, I do an awful lot of browsing. Um, wrist rests make life so much easier and comfortable. You don't get the strain, you don't get the pain that builds up. You can stay productive for longer. This isn't the cheapest of wrist rests, but if you have a look at the quality of it, just, just the quality of it, and then you include the fan that comes with it, it's worth every penny. What's your health worth at the end of the day? It's just the right size. It sits on the desk in front of the keyboard, makes life easier. What more could you want? This is a recommendation.